My name is Frances Hugh Pritchard and I'm here in Venice representing New Zealand. I'm a sculptor. The pavilion's at the Claudio Buzio Foundation near the Rialto Bridge. It's a beautiful palazzo. It's neoclassical and it's the first floor with a balcony looking out onto the Grand Canal. This show is called Save Yourself and it's three rooms and each room's got a large table and each table has either one or some figures on it. It's been lovely working for the Biennale, having a long time to work. I've been working on this project for a year and a half and for almost a year I've known which space it'd be in. So really nice to really concentrate on that. At first it's quite scary not working with white walls because, and you can't put a big white plinth in a place like this. So that was my big challenge with this, was making something beautiful that would be sympathetic with the palazzo but not trying to be part of the palazzo either. In the past I've done a lot more things with animals and other objects but for the last three years I've been really concentrating on figures. There's a lot of very good figurative painting around and I don't think so much good figurative contemporary sculpture so I really with these figures wanted to push how a figurative sculpture looks and I wanted them to look futuristic so instead of painting them I guess any sensible colours I just try and paint them a very new and strong usually single colour. Mostly I work on quite a small scale because I like to work with my hands by myself in the studio. I don't, I don't like getting things cast or anything too big and unwieldy and I'm not particularly strong, so I don't do really massive things. And I usually use, I try to use materials that are really not toxic and things that I can almost not do at home, but I could, uh, on a scale that's really human. I work very intuitively and I don't like to think too much before I make sculptures. I like to make things and then think about it afterwards and develop a big body of work, like the, these figures, and then when I'm halfway through, start wondering what they mean. Making things by hand and making things alone in the studio without lots of assistance and things, I think really helps you work quickly and intuitively and, and just pro process with, with your body in a way rather than your mind. There's certainly a hippie element to this work. I grew up with a lot of hippie people and to me, these are like holy fools. Around Venice, there's figures everywhere in churches and on buildings everywhere, and I think they're very meaningful. And I, I've tried to make these figures totally bereft. Th they've got no purpose and no life. I think they're very they're like shells, husks. Even though I'd call these works bereft and like shells, they often do relate to people. One of them's called Richard because everyone said it looks like Richard Wentworth. I don't really relate to them as like like you do with a toy, like in a. Um, loving way, I, I, the sculptures, and to me they're very serious and they, they sit quite apart from me emotionally.